In this video, we will factor quadratic expressions in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where there's a common factor using the graph of the related quadratic function. If we have a quadratic function in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can write this in the form of a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where r sub one and r sub two are the zeros, which are the values of x that make the function, or y, equal to zero. Because of this, to determine the zeros, and write ax squared plus bx plus c in factored form, we determine the horizontal intercepts, or the x-intercepts of the graph. So for the first example, we have two x squared plus 14 x minus 36. To factor this using a graph, we graph the quadratic function y equals two x squared plus 14 x minus 36, which I've already graphed here on the right. And notice how the graph has two distinct horizontal intercepts, and therefore the function has two distinct zeros. The ordered pair for this horizontal intercept is negative nine comma zero, and the ordered pair for this horizontal intercept is two comma zero. So now to write the given expression in the form a, times the quantity x minus r sub one, times the quantity x minus r sub two. We know a, the coefficient of x squared is two. Let's let r sub one equal negative nine, and r sub two equal positive two. Again, it does not matter which zero is r sub one and which zero is r sub two. So now performing substitution, we have a, which is two, times the quantity x minus r sub one is x minus negative nine, which simplifies to x plus nine. And then we have times the quantity x minus r sub two, which is x minus two. This is the factored form of the given quadratic expression. Next we have six x squared minus 39 x plus 54. To factor this graphically, we graph y equals six x squared minus 39 x plus 54. Which again, I've already graphed here on the right. Notice how we have two horizontal intercepts, one here and one here. The ordered pair for this horizontal intercept is two comma zero. The ordered pair for this horizontal intercept looks like it's 4.5 or four and a half or nine halves. But let's go ahead and verify this using the TI-84. So we press y equals, clear any old functions, enter the new function of y equals six x squared minus 39 x plus 54. Let's start with the standard window by pressing zoom six, which we can always change. Notice how we can see both horizontal intercepts, so there's no real reason to adjust the window. But let's go ahead and adjust the window anyway to get a better view. Let's change the x-axis to go from, let's say, negative two to seven. So we press window, x min, negative two, enter, x max, seven, enter, and then graph. And now we have a little better view of the function. We can easily see the horizontal intercept here is two comma zero, Let's verify the order pair for this point is 4.5 comma zero, or nine halves comma zero. To do this, we press second trace for the calculation menu, option two for zero. We need to be to the left of this horizontal intercept. Let's move to the right so we are closer. Let's say here, we press enter. Right bound means move to the right, which in this case is above. Enter, when it says guess, we can just press enter. And notice how this is 4.5 comma zero. This is zero, it's actually using scientific notation of one times 10 raised to the power of negative 11, which is a little bit off from zero, but we need to recognize this as zero. So the ordered pair is 4.5 comma zero, or four and a half comma zero. Let's go ahead and use the ordered pair nine halves comma zero. So for this expression, we have a equals six. Let's let r sub one equal two, and r sub two equal nine halves. So for the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, we have a, which is six, times the quantity x minus r sub one gives us x minus two. 
times the quantity x minus r sub two gives us x minus nine halves. So while this could be considered factored form, it's better form if we clear the fraction from this binomial. Because the denominator is two, we can clear the fraction by multiplying this binomial by two, and notice six is equal to three times two. So let's write six as three times two, and also change the order of this product. Let's write this as three times two times the quantity x minus nine halves times the quantity x minus two. And then here we'll distribute the two to clear the fraction from the binomial. So we still have this factor of three. Then distributing two, we have two times x, which is two x, and then minus two times nine halves, just gives us nine. And then we have a factor of x minus two. This would be the common factored form for the given quadratic expression. I hope you found this helpful.